Chapter 3 The Suspicious Peddler <laughs> Alright, monkey, listen up. If you don't do your job, then this girly monkey is as good as them. Do what you're supposed to, and you'll get to have a nice happy reunion later. Understand? Both you and this girly monkey could wind up dead if you're not careful. Well, how do you like it? The lovely finger on your neck is no ordinary color. It's so advanced that even if you ran into the end of the desert, Pony Shindu would still be a snap. Come to think of it, monkey. Don't you have a name? You don't have a name, do you? You're going to need one from here on out. Are you going to come up with something cute? Of course I can. A monkey who will endure anything for his girlfriend, Cesare. Okay, All right, stupid monkey, Cesare. I only say this once, so listen close. If you want to enjoy your little journey with me, just remember these two things. You and I are buddies. Don't you dare try to run away from me. Always behave and act nice and friendly. Got that? Yep. Good boy. The second thing to remember, never disobey my commands. If I say dance, you dance. If I say laugh, you laugh. It's that simple. Got it? Yep. Do what I say and we'll both get through this without any hard feelings. <laughs> Huh? What's that defiant look in your eyes? Dance! No, <laughs> That's such a silly monkey dance just watching is embarrassing. Try a different dance. Good boy, love! Backflip! Good boy, good job. No doubt everyone will believe we're a performance duo now. Hey, you stupid monkey! You only get to cry when I tell you to. No crying on your own, it's punishment time! Hey, you! Quit slipping on the job! Alright, listen. There's a white round building west of here. We're going there. You wound up being taken with Facet. Very well, welcome back to the play, Mother 3, last time, we completed chapter 2, and this time, hey, I saw everything, be strong and it. I'm sure things will start to go your way someday, but that they come up, save your game. We lost Teal, is nowhere to be found, and the egg, the hummingbird egg, which holds the secret of the world, is nothing to be found as well, probably it's with Teal, but we don't know yet. Theo is accused to be a thief, and stole because he, stole, he apparently stole Bud's money. And now we are actually being here with Fast, and we don't actually know why we're even seeing this scene, if it is something that happened before, it's something that's happening right now, we don't know. Anyway, step forward. What we need to do is get to this building. Before we do that, we should train a little bit. There's a little bit of boss fight there, and we don't want to get there unprepared. These dung beetles are really easy, um, so um, really nice to get some experience out of them. They always drop the dung, which believe it or not is really useful to get experience, and we'll see why in a while. Jerky. Okay, you can control Cesare from, Cesare from now on. I chose this name because it's the same name of, uh, you know, the, the boss of the... Um, 
the film, the movie of the apes, you know, Planet of Apes, that is. It is called like that, so I thought that was really nice to have. About the party members we have now. Okay, level up, I don't, I don't, I don't even want to read that. Facet. This is a support party member, so he does not have statistics. Still, he's one of the strongest party members you can ever have. You're not doing a lot of damage for now, but he does bomb rushes. He can attack for a lot of damage. He is really strong. Sometimes he doesn't do anything, but that happens. Things that happen. Those guys here are dangerous. They get the chance to attack you. Ah, there he is. Eight damage. You know, Hank. In any case. Keep training up a little bit, gain a few levels. <laughs> Faster has an ability, which is really one of the best abilities you want to have. Every time you get a status problem, any status problem, it will just zap you for one damage and cure of the stuff, cure the stuff and flow out of you. It's probably one of the strongest pain you may want to have. Seriously. You can basically heal every status problem you have for just one point of health. It's amazing. Anyway, we're collecting a lot of dung here. And there is a reason why I'm doing it. Nut bread. We'll need that. Sometimes the sand lizards over here drop nut breads, but not always. Go down here, let's kill this boy first. Luxury banana. Oh, that's a luxury banana. Hey you, stupid monkey. If you think you've earned the luxury banana, then you better think again. Give me that. Give up the luxury banana. Believe it or not, if you run onto the, the banana peel, you'll actually slip down. It doesn't do anything. I don't think you lose health. Six. Get up. No, indeed you don't. Anyway, let's go down here. Uh, I want to see my items real quick. I still have a lot of free space. I try to avoid that guy that moves real fast. You don't really want to fight him. They will post to our enemies. Do not attack them. They are strong. It's jerky here, and some lizard fuck you. What you wanna do is kill as many of these dung be uh, but beetles, beetle as possible, and get a lot of dung. It seems pointless, but there is a reason why. Up here. What? Are you just me killing me? Oh, there they are. There's an infinite supply of these. Keep filling your inventory until there's no more space. Trust me, it is worth it. See more, and you can carry more. Good. Now that we can carry any more, we'll backtrack till the beginning. Okay, let's kill this guy. Fine. Also, I should say what the abilities of Tesseri are. Apologize! Apologize to an enemy to stop in its tracks. You can stop it for one turn, basically. Make life. Perform various tricks to stop an enemy so much. Same thing, I, I guess. I never used them, to be honest. Dance. Perform various dances for different results. You can raise your stab. Your stats, but it raises one around them, I think. Monkey Mimic, counter an enemy with some attack. This is really interesting, and you will see why it's so useful in a while. Let's dance. Oh, you can lower stats. Defense decreased by one. So there's a random effect, but it usually is an effect on stats. I never. Um, actually, yes. It's the wrong one. I never tried all the dance effects because I really never used them. Dance is not really that useful. Duck the the Sara Sara. This called this called Sara Sara. Sara Sara. Kill this good. Kill this bitch. Thank you. 
Lap of four! Good going! Good going! Anyway, let's go over here! And... Avoid and send leader, please! Thank you! Over here! It's called clean water here! Drink some? Yep! Scissory feels much better! Full restore, basically! Now this guy here! I want some dung! I don't have any dung trolls, so I'm not a true dung beetle! It's so sad! If you ever happen to come across some dung, please bring it to me. I'll always be here, so please bring me some. That's why we've been collecting all this dung. Bring it, bring dung to him. He will reward you with experience points. Okay, everyone says they're going fine. Now, you can repeat this process every any time. But sometimes the dung you bring him to him is better than other. And you will get 5, 10, or even 50 if you're really lucky. Okay, that was normal. I wanna see if I get some really high boost of experience. 5 experience points. Five experience points. Five experience points. Leveled up. Five experience points. I'm really unlucky today. Oh, they're calling me. Alright, sorry. Still getting five experience points. No lucky today. Because you, you can you see if it, if it's better done because you will get a different message. Hey. I wonder how many pieces of diamond do I still have in my inventory? Oh None. Well, that worked really nicely. Anyway. Now that we've done that, we are ready to go over here. Got the Sara Shara. No, okay, maybe not. Maybe we have to kill him. An ancient banana. Sorry, kid. That's useful. Black spray. This black spray will be useful. Right? Here. So dizzy at me, Ribbit! This is the Great Centillion! This is not a boss fight. Those are the enemies that pop up in the whirlpool. So what we do is really easy, back spry. <laughs> Dead. Easy. And six, good. Fleet charm. This is interesting, you want the split charm. It's the only piece of equipment you can get here. All the spinning and dizziness actually started to feel kind of nice after a while. Thanks for saving me when I need your help. Anyways, while we're at it, save your game. Oh yes. Okay, let's do that. Return. Be a little bit more intense. Frog in a desert? It's actually not as crazy as you might think. Some species of frogs, such as sand frogs, do exist in arid desert region like Africa. During season with little or no precipitation, these frogs burrow into the ground to protect themselves from the harsh dry climate. Thanks for telling us that. It was really nice to say, you know. Oh, this is interesting. Running bomb and... What do you expect, cold bones to talk or something? Yup. That's why I checked you. Okay, there we go. Okay. Apparently, I snuck it from I sn snuck up from behind somehow. Over here, a quartz brassel, another piece of a key for other tab and. Listen, monkey, that is a cactus wall, the meanest thing in the desert. But we can't get inside with him standing there. Go beat him up. 
Lose, and I'll have an extra serving of punishment ready just for you. I guess. Are we ready for it? I think we are. Let's do this. Boss fight, the cactus wall. 468 health points. Now what you want to do, but first of all, instant banana. Stiff violently, bam, 49. Ouch. I really need to heal already. Not bread. It doesn't do always that, but still. Jeez. What I want to do is... I want to throw my bombs. I have two running bombs, so... You have one. Okay. I'm still fine. Got another running bomb in your face. Should be over soon. Uh, turkey, big turkey. Sixty. Okay, I'm fine. That fast a deal with him. Now that when you are out of stuff. Oh crap! I need to heal. I need to heal. No, I need to heal. Okay, I'm fine. Do monkey mimic. If he does the cactus head, but you will do the same thing and do damage a lot. Then just attack him. I think attack. Never mind, I won. GG. Well, that sounded good. Big jerky. I think you always get that. Get that, but I'm not sure. Anyway, next time on Mod 3, we'll enter that building and see what's in there. See you guys then.